think big, and then think better. Our scripture reading today comes to us from Paul's letter to the Church of Philippi, Philippians 4, verses 8 and 9. Finally, beloved, my brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things or take account of these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. It is not easy to put on a happy face when it feels as if nothing in our life is coming together. We've prayed and believed and acted in all the ways that make sense to us, but nothing seems to have changed. We may begin to wonder if God even knows about the mess we're in, the burdens we bear. Maybe God is not caring or is too busy with the rest of the world to bother with us and our troubles. But where does that leave us? When you are going through a rough patch where everything in life feels upside down, you may be struggling to hold on to hope. When even your friends don't know how to comfort you, you might slip into negative thinking that tries to convince you that you're not on God's list of favorites. But one thing we can always change is our stinking thinking. If we want to step out of the doldrums and move forward in God's promises and peace, we need to start by changing our hearts and our minds. Whatever we count will be what matters. So stop counting your miseries and start counting your blessings. That's a great place to start. You only need to shift your focus so you can see God's hand at work right now. Paul suggests in Philippians that we open our minds to new possibilities by thinking new things. We can alter our perspective by thinking about big things, even bigger things. Call to mind what you have experienced that has made you feel joyful and aware of God's gracious hand at work in the past, and then give God the praise. Once we start counting our blessings, we will have nowhere to go but up. Our faces will feel the warmth of the sun. Our hearts will be quickened by the knowledge that God is near. We will notice how our thoughts, our thought patterns change, shifting from negativity and disappointment to thankfulness and hope. So today, change your thoughts and reflect on what all that brings you joy. Look for God to show up right now and shine his face upon you, ready to make things new. And keep thinking bigger and bigger and brighter and better and because you serve a great big God. And he certainly does make all things possible. Let us pray. Lord, I often get caught up in the swirling frustrations and miseries, noisily bombarding my mind. And I forget how to quiet them again. I know that all I really need is you and the gentle reminder that you have bigger plans for my life. Help me to meditate on the big things that are possible for even a bigger God. Amen. Blessings to you and yours this day and always. Goodbye.